Hell yeah. This is an area known as the Flat Tops, and we're coming down. And uh, we are up on top of the world, man. We are up on top of the world. Yes, we are. Jesus H. Christ. We ain't got no roads like this in Ohio. Nothing looks like that anyway. Jesus. And that's amazing. God. You don't have anything that looks even remotely like this in Ohio. And that drop off is a long goddamn way down. Man, is that a long way down. Jesus. Woo! Your boy. Reef. Want to stay the hell away from these edges. That is for sure. Whoa. Jesus Christ, man. We've come 15 miles so far on this uh, little road here. We're coming down. There was snow up there on the top. And, uh, obviously, not anymore. Jesus. God, I hope nobody's coming up this road because that means I got to get close to the edge. The last place that I want to be up here is close to that fucking edge. That's 3,000 feet down there, man. That's 3,000 feet. Jesus. God. It's beautiful. Dangerous as fuck, but it's beautiful. This is my first time driving a dirt road in the mountains. I think I'm doing all right. I can see Route 70 way the fuck down there. And I mean way the fuck down there. That's a mile down there, man. It is. God. This is an area called the Flat Tops and this road is called Coffee Pot. This is Coffee Pot Road. I don't know why it's called Coffee Pot Road, but it is. There's a lot of camping up here. About damn near... You stop damn near about anywhere you want and camp. Jesus. Phew. It was actually a little bit chilly up there. Like I said, there's still snow, but uh, did we come about uh, a couple miles since the last time I was filming there a second ago, but uh, I can feel it uh, warming up. As we drop down in elevation, uh, we've dropped down more than a thousand feet. I can feel my uh, Ears popping. Ah, free, it's beautiful. Jesus. But nothing in Ohio like this, man. Nothing. Ah, free. Woo! One thing we don't want to do is go over that friggin' edge. Ah an edge. Ah. Slow her down. Slow her down. Woo. Jesus. Yeah, we're dropping now. That's for sure. So we come another couple miles. 
since last I was filming there. We're still dropping down in elevation. Come about uh, 16 miles from where we started. Craziness, man. Craziness. Jesus. Oh, that is absolutely fantastically amazing. It really is. Yeah, this is beautiful. Not only can you see all this wonderful stuff, but you know, cannabis is legal in Colorado as well. So you can come up here and see scenery like this and smoke pot and it's legal. That is just amazing. Come across some scenery here in just a moment that will be uh, mind-boggling. As soon as we go around this corner up here, we'll see some mountainsides all lit up by the sun. It's about uh, seven o'clock. So let's see, seven. It's closer to eight, I guess. Yeah. Now we're gonna see some scenery coming up here as we round this corner. Jesus, don't go over that corner. Jesus, don't go over that edge. Fuck. Fuck me. Woo. Coffee Pot Road is what this is called. And uh, nice little cruise. Slower down, Max. Slow her down, buddy. Don't forget to go off any edges or anything. Jesus. Jesus. Here's a dangerous corner right here. We're going to definitely take this one slow just in case anybody's coming along. Do not need to go off that edge. That is a long way down. Boy, is that a long way down. There's a quick look at Route 70 down there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's down there. Way down there. About a mile or so. This is a crazy road. Glad I got the chance to do this. We are rescuing John's. My buddy John is a 1983 Suburban and he is following me in the Suburban. And uh, we are slowly making our way down. He got stuck up here. And uh, so we came up here to retrieve it. Good Lord. Oh, it's crazy, man. So crazy. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, man. Hell of a road, man, I'm telling you. Jesus. This is about uh, 20 miles from my house, maybe. Uh, maybe a little further, I guess. Because we're going to come down into Dotsero, and then we're going to drive from Dotsero to uh, Glenwood Springs. Boy, oh boy. Watch that edge. Watch that edge. Not go over that edge. Whew. Boy. Ooh. We'll go slow through here. We most certainly are. Whew. 
Hope nobody's coming. Hope nobody's coming. This is, uh, for a truck like John's got, this is a one lane road. And uh, if you meet somebody on this road, you gotta put it in reverse and back up. And that means somebody's gotta either back down or you gotta back up. And can you imagine this in the winter time? Can you imagine this in the winter time? This would be so silly in the winter time. Silly, silly, silly in the winter time. There's another crazy drop off. God, freaky. We've come about 20 miles so far. One thing we don't want to do is drive off the edge of that road. Eyes on the road, bud. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. Look at the scenery some other time. As a passenger, perhaps. Yet another silly curve at the 20 mile mark. Do not want to go off that curve. That is something we do not want to do. Whew! Jesus, God. We're about the 22 mile mark, something like that. Mountain scenery all over the place. We're going to be coming down to Route 70 eventually. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far. Come uh, oh, 21 miles. Jesus. is the most magnificent scenery, man. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Boy, I don't want to be coming down here at night and go straight right there. That would not be good. wonder if anybody's ever done it. The mountain there, <laughs> the big mountain there, is uh, definitely thousands of feet, man. Thousands of feet. Jesus, do not go off of that right there. We want a good grip on the steering wheel. Yes, we do. We do not want to go off of there. God damn, loving it. Getting close to Route 70 now. There's a uh, mountain stream running beside the road. Beautiful little mountain stream. Absolutely scenic. Definitely down below the uh, Aspens. That's for sure. There's somebody out here camping. Being a little more secure now. We're, uh, my ears are popping big time. And the scenery just never, ever, ever stops, man. We're about the 23 mile, let's see. Well, yeah, we're about the uh, 24 mile mark, 25 mile marker. 
just extraordinary. And as I said, cannabis is legal. That's uh, important. Oh, it's important. Trust me. I think it's important. think this is paved road. It is paved road. Now, what do you know? We made it. I mean, we made it down off the top of the, you know, the major mountain up there. We made it to the blacktop. Good deal. You know, the little green blobs in the video, those are all rather large trees. <laughs> they really are. And uh, the rest is covered in like sage and shit like that. Nice to be back in civilization again. We're still out here. We haven't come to Dot Cerro yet, and we certainly haven't come to 70 yet. But uh, we're not on those uh, awful <laughs> drop-offs up there, man. That was crazy. And uh, John's still cruising along behind us there. We thought we were going to get dumped on, man. There was a hell of a rainstorm as we were going up. Uh, it kind of went around us, but we thought we were going to get drenched. And up there, muddy road, man, that wouldn't be good at all. We are entering Glenwood Canyon. Hmm. This is Glenwood Canyon, and uh, the canyon walls are friggin' huge. It's crazy, man. It's crazy looking. But this is the famous Glenwood Canyon. All right, so we've come several miles through the canyon. Now, we should be coming across some tunnels here at some point, eventually. Yeah, here's a nice tunnel. Glad I didn't have a hand in building these. Be a hell of a thing. Yes, Glenwood Canyon. Pretty amazing, man. Hell of a bike path follows the highway and uh, you can ride Glenwood Canyon on a bicycle. It's badass. And we got another tunnel here.
one hell of a tunnel. One hell of a tunnel. And this is the last of our tunnels before we come to Glenwood Springs. Pretty nice cruise out there, man. basically arrived back in Glenwood Springs got about uh, maybe a mile before we hit uh, the city so uh, I'm going to stop the video for now have a wonderful evening ladies and gentlemen and more Max report to come have a great night